Hello again, Rail fans. It's Wednesday, August 19th, 2020, and after finishing my schoolwork, my dad and I are headed to the tracks for a couple of hours. The big event this afternoon is K421, a loaded ethanol train heading for the port of Tampa. So, here he is, creeping past 78th Street and into Yeoman Yard. Between the SASA Wild Domain and the NASA Wild Domain. Circle line 4 until 1400, 8 19 20 The train originates in Chicago, Illinois, right off the Canadian National's main line to Louisiana and next on to CSX's S line and finally it arrives in Tampa. Today, K421 has CN and UP power, a rare lashup as it's usually switched to CSX power in Birmingham, Alabama, its last crew change stop. Speaking about crews, this one was very friendly to us rail fans today with the horn, the bell, and plenty of waves. Just as the last few tank cars of K421 snaked into the yard, here came 082319, the juice train, coming on the bypass track with loaded Tropicana cars from Bradenton. With a shortcut of mixed freight in the lead and 15 loaded juice cars trailing, 0823 passes 78th Street, getting ready to back in to Yeoman Yard. After a quick job briefing with the dispatcher, 0823 gets a medium approach signal and permission to back into Yeoman Yard. The crew will back the juice train into a yard track, then tie it down until Q442's crew arrives in just a couple of hours. Then 442's crew will double or triple the train out of Yeoman, then proceed to Waycross, Georgia with a few hundred tons of freight.
Before I get any deeper into the video, I want to give a huge thanks to my good railfan friend, Hornshow Railfan. He gave me all the information for catching the ethanol trains and the next train coming. Big thanks again, Hornshow. After hearing on the radio 0710 coming back to Yeoman, we drove as quickly as we could to the A-Line. We were just in time. O710 is a daily turn from Tampa to Winston and back, and this is my first ever catch of him. He had a red signal ahead and was slowing to a stop, but did everyone waiting on Orient Road a big favor and just barely cleared the street so cars could keep going on their day. The action on the radio slowed down to yard jobs, the clouds got darker, and there was a seeming hot dinner waiting for us at home. So we called it a day. I hope you enjoyed this little outing of some of these very cool trains. I hope to see you all on the high iron again soon. But until next time, this is Christian from Multicolor Films. End of transmission.